your connection to God in this world every single morning. And welcome to another day of broadcasting right here at WDJL, your virtual explosion station on this Sunday, December the 4th, 2022. We made the connection. We got him. I'm talking about Pastor Mark Barrett. Here he is with Christ Connection. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning, sir. How you doing this morning? Well, like that young man was saying, it's a wonderful Sunday morning, a super Sunday morning to be alive in the Lord, sharing the good news. Uh, you a young man. Okay. Oh, you you talking about me? Yes, sir. You are. Well, you you're a young man too, sir. You you are. You are. I was talking about the man singing at the top of the hour, but. Uh, <laughs> But uh, you're you're a young man. You still going uh, strong, sir. Get out of it, Pastor. Get out of it. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I, I know you got some great news for us, and man, I tell you what, man, we appreciate you. We look forward to hearing you each morning. And so, hey, this morning is no different. So I'm going to back out the way and let you take it. We want to see what you got to say, Pastor, as far well as bringing us that good news. So, Pastor. You got it. All right, indeed. Delighted to be sharing that good news this morning as B.B. brings us in. It is about the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Why is it good news to you and I? Because in order to save us, in order to save our lives, to save the day, he came, put himself in harm's way. He allowed himself to be harmed. No one took his life. He laid it down willingly for us, but took it up again for us, being delivered up for our offenses, raised again for our justification. Friend, that is how God chooses to relate to us and wants us. That's his introduction. That's how he comes. That's the gospel, the good news. That's why we preach, teach. That's what we come to share. It's the word of reconciliation. God was in Christ, not laying your or my sins to our account, but taking them unto himself and so reconciling the world unto himself. And you take your place in that reconciling work of Christ when you embrace what he's already done for you. He doesn't have to do it all over again. He did it once and for all. You know what that means? It's free and available to all. There was a price. It wasn't free in terms of the price to be paid. But it is certainly free to us because he, we owed a price and we owed something we could not pay. But he paid a price he did not owe. He came to take our sins away and to make us righteous. That's the good news, friend. And we're in a series at, at the Connected Church called I Am God Revealed. That's our desire every single day is to reveal God to you, to us, that we might rest our faith in him, have a living faith, continually rested in him. So we invite you to join us this morning at 1015 a.m. at the Connect Center, 5650 Sanderson Street, Northwest, Sweet R, right here in Huntsville, Alabama, 35805. We'd love to see you there. Uh, also, let me go ahead and say this. Next Saturday morning at 10 a.m., Connected Grace is back as my wife will be leading a time of just refreshing and renewing and reflecting uh, with the women of the Tennessee Valley and beyond called The Gift of You. As we're going to talk about the gifts that God has invested in you. And there's going to be vendors present. Uh, you can pick up a few Christmas gifts. Just this fellowship have a great time with refreshment, sir. Well, I am God revealed. Scripture says, Psalms chapter 84, verse 11, that the Lord our God is a sun and shield. He gives grace and glory. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. You know, we started talking about Genesis chapter 15, verse 1, where God reveals and says, I am your defense and your exceeding great reward. The psalmist expresses uh, this concerning him in more detail. And what I just quoted from Psalms 84 and verse 11, it says that he would hold no good thing from those who walk uprightly before him. 
You see, friend, one of the things that God wants you to know, you know what walking upright before God is from his perspective? It's acknowledging who he is. It's in all your ways acknowledging him. It is trusting in him. You see, oftentimes we think walking uprightly is performing perfectly. Uh, do I perform perfectly? You know, when I say perform, do, do I get it all right all the time? Now, none of us should ever slow the bar to the point that we want to miss the mark. We want to stumble. You know, we, we want to uh, not uh, do our best, uh, that we want to sin. Uh, that being said, uh, to walk uprightly before God is to acknowledge and trust him at all times in an integrous way. And I mean literally at all times, no matter what is going on, when you've done something good, you acknowledge him and give him praise for having given you the strength and the ability to attain or to do whatever you've achieved and accomplished. Or if you fall, it, you still acknowledge him because you know that his grace and mercy is sufficient to restore you. It is about faith in him at all times. I believe God's highest <clears throat> pursuit for every one of us is to live a life of faith, rested in him at all times. Because here's what happened. When you're trusting in something or someone, you give your attention to them. You, you associate, you become more and more drawn into what you're trusted in, who you're trusting in, and your life becomes wrapped more and more and intertwined in and with it. Now, we know that in a negative way, you know, when it comes to addictions and uh, bad relationships and all those things, but I'm talking about good things that come from a good God who loves you perfectly and completely and who gives every good and perfect gift. James chapter one, verse 17. As you and I trust in him and look to him as our source and provider every single day, you know what happens? <clears throat> we begin to believe right. And when you believe right, you know what'll happen? You'll behave right. Our, our behavior is associated with what we believe. Our belief is in whatever we put our trust and confidence and look to from day to day. Here's the psalm of the matter. We are called in Hebrews chapter 12 to run the race of our lives, our own particular race, uh, with patience, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, laying aside the weights and the sins that those so easily beset us, that what we do is we look unto Jesus. As you look unto Jesus, there's a song that says this, turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full on his wonderful face and the things of this world will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. That's what we're talking about today. Walking uprightly, so looking to him, trusting in him as your defense, as your rewarder, and as you do fall, here's what you'll find. Your faith in God, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, pleases God, believing that he is the I am and that he is a rewarder of every one of us who diligently seeks him. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosions Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond every single day where the dream of change is alive and Jesus is our everlasting joy because together you and I are the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. That's good news on this super Sunday morning, P. Well, young man, we appreciate that. <laughs> you, uh, giving us that message this morning and we look forward to talking to you again in the morning. Yes, sir. Blessings on you and the Gospel Explosion family. Lord willing, we'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Have a great day today. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye. All right. Well, let us today indeed go in the strength and ability of our defense, our rewarder, our God, as we rest our faith continually in him. Faith in God changes you and your circumstances. 
makes the impossible possible. Only believe, only believe, believe only. Choose to believe, put your faith in him, confidence, moment by moment, day by day. And you know what? You'll see his life manifest in you. You'll see that he's a rewarder of those who rest their confidence and makes himself known, reveals himself as the I am in every part of your life, in everything. All right, Haley, we'll, we'll see you in a couple of hours at the Connect Center, 10, 15 a.m. Central Standard Time, uh, right here in the Tennessee Valley. We're at the Connect Center, 5650 uh, Suite R at Sanderson Street, Northwest. That's Al Northwest at Center in Huntsville, 35805. You can get more information on our page. Uh, you can go to YouTube. You can go to Facebook. Go to connected-church.com. And you can get that information. Well, we look forward to seeing you in person at 10, 15 a.m. at the Connect Center for this series, I Am. And uh, if we're not able to see you in person, then we'd love to connect with you at 1030. We start live on, we're live on YouTube and Facebook and other platforms. And we'd love to see you there. Remember this, until then, God loves himself and you, and we do too. You matter to God. You married us. Bye-bye for now.